compact SUVs have become the go-to vehicle of choice for many families. Safety is therefore a top-of-mind consideration for many would-be buyers. One of the leading contenders in this market among U.S. automakers is the Chevrolet Equinox. The current generation of Equinox debuted for the 2018 model year, making this vehicle one of the oldest in the segment. Can this Chevy keep pace with the latest demanding crash tests? Today we'll be looking at the Equinox's performance in the small overlap, updated moderate overlap, and updated side impact crash tests. We'll also look at this SUV's roof strength and automatic emergency braking systems. By the time we're done looking at these evaluations, we'll have a good idea how safe the Equinox is in a wide variety of situations. This safety review also applies to the mechanically identical GMC terrain. First up is the small overlap crash test. In this test, a vehicle travels at 40 miles per hour, and only 25% of the vehicle's width strikes the barrier, which concentrates the force in a small area. This test really challenges a vehicle's structure and tells us how well it does at keeping intrusion out of the cabin. The Equinox did well on the driver's side. Structural intrusion was low, and there was minimal risk of injuries. The passenger side did a little worse. Structural intrusion in the upper compartment was 11 centimeters, and there is a moderate risk of injuries to the right leg. Despite these minor challenges, the Equinox earned the highest score of good on the driver and passenger sides. Unfortunately, the news for the Equinox gets worse as we move on to the other crash tests. Next up is the updated moderate overlap crash test. This crash test contains a dummy in the rear. The back seat is used regularly in family-oriented vehicles, but unfortunately rear seat safety has been lagging behind the safety advances made in the front row. Disappointingly, the Equinox proved to be not up to the task of protecting rear seat passengers, scoring the lowest rating of poor. Sensors from the rear seat dummy indicate a high risk of injury to the head or neck and chest. Overall, the Equinox's results in this test are very disappointing and place the vehicle near the bottom of the class for rear seat safety. Speaking of disappointing results, the Equinox struggled in the updated side impact test. This evaluation simulates what would happen if the vehicle was struck on its side by a 4,200 pound SUV at 37 miles per hour. This Equinox scored the second lowest rating of marginal. The structure performed well. The space between the seat center line and B pillar comes in at a generous 21 centimeters. That's where the good news ends. The most concerning event was the side curtain airbag failed to protect the rear seat passenger's head. The dummy's head made hard contact with the C pillar through the airbag. This is unacceptable because side curtain airbags are supposed to prevent this occurrence and protect the occupant's head from making contact with hard surfaces. The dummy's sensors recorded a moderate risk of injury to the rear seat passenger's head, neck, and torso. The situation up front is also disappointing as the driver dummy recorded a high risk of torso injuries. Fortunately, things are not as dire when it comes to the Equinox's roof structure. Having a strong roof is crucial during a rollover crash, as it can help maintain the occupant's survival space and reduce the risk of injury or death. Stronger roofs can also prevent occupants from being ejected from the vehicle. The Equinox withstood just over 18,000 pounds of peak force. This is notably less than the top performing vehicles in this class, but still enough to earn the highest rating of good. Let's examine the technologies that can help avoid collisions. The automatic emergency braking system uses radar and other sensors to detect a potential collision and autonomously applies the brakes when a collision is imminent. Chevy's system underwent testing at speeds of 12 and 25 miles per hour. In the 12 miles per hour test, the vehicle came to a complete stop. In the 25 miles per hour test, the speed was reduced by 22 miles per hour. This is disappointing that the Equinox didn't come to a complete stop and likely indicates that the system has reached its limit and won't perform well at higher speeds. Speeds that you would want it to perform well at to reduce collision force and injuries. Overall, the Equinox's performance is substandard. It did well in the small overlap and roof strength tests. However, it's clearly not up to the task of protecting rear seat passengers, as demonstrated here in the updated moderate overlap crash test and here in the updated side impact crash test. This is a significant problem if you transport passengers in the back seat. Overall, the Equinox ranks near the bottom of the class in these evaluations. If you're planning on using the back seat, it's recommended that you pass on this Chevy. Almost any other compact SUV would make a better choice. For example, the Nissan Rogue, Subaru Forester, Toyota RAV4, and Mazda's CX-5 and CX-50 would all make a safer option. 
Hopefully GM makes the necessary changes to the Equinox and the terrain to improve rear seat safety. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to see more captivating videos about auto safety.